Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to another video. So this video I actually shot when I was setting up my 2018 bullet journal, but I didn't want to make that video too long. So this one has kind of just been sitting here waiting. And I figured now that I'm kind of restricted with the cast and everything, I just post this one because I adore the way this turned out. So I wanted to do a mood tracker or kind of like a year in pixels kind of thing, but I wanted it to be a little bit different and unique. So I decided to go with silhouettes of different forest animals. So I started off with just choosing one animal for each month and I could only fit six months into this particular spread. So if you want a full year, just do it on two spreads or do it smaller. But I think it's going to be hard to see different days if you make it too small. So I chose one animal for each month and once I have the silhouette down, I started dividing it into different sections of the numbers of the days in that month. So for January, I have 31 sections, for February 28, March 31 and so on. And just to make this easier for myself. I didn't go with any crazy shapes or stuff like that. I just sectioned it off with straight lines and then I added in the decorations into the lines to make it kind of unique. So as I said, once I have the correct amount of sections in each month, I decided to just go in and add the tiny details that makes the biggest difference. So I just make random lines, little flowers, zigzag patterns, just little dots and circles and just trying to keep a variety so that the finished piece is interesting and not too repetitive. Then the point of this whole thing is that you make a color code, you can put it at the bottom of the page or on a separate card or whatever you want to keep it. And depending on how your mood is that day, you just color in a different color in each section. Then at the end of the month, you can just look back and see the more prominent colors and see kind of how you felt that month. And I feel like this is really helpful because I'm just gonna go ahead and be real with you guys. I struggle um, sometimes really bad with depression and anxiety. And for me, this is a really helpful way just to see how those symptoms are kind of evolving, if it's getting better or worse. And looking at this together with my daily log or my two lines a day can really help me pinpoint what causes the anxiety or the, the depression. And here is my final piece of my moods mandala. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching and happy planning.